Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Push Mill World for level 3 challenges. If I sound like I'm a bit of a Debbie Downer in this part, that's because I literally just listened to the worst thing that my ears could have ever encompassed in my entire life. But we were introduced to new gadgets here, and uh, thanks for sneaking up on me, old timer. Uh, so, here these make their uh, reappearance from the previous games, and uh, we've got ourselves manholes, I believe, are what the games call them. So, pull out that bottom block. And in case you didn't realize, these are basically teleport mallows. And, uh, yeah, basically you just go to the corresponding color of the manhole, and you'll end up on that one. But you have to make sure that the uh, block is pulled out in order to actually do it. And so that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, they're in literally every game, so, yeah. But yeah, gadgets, how do they work? All right, so let's do this. Let's get out of here because these are pretty interesting mechanics, but once you kind of see them and how they work, then uh, they're pretty good. So yes, I get it. You don't have to tell me. We just experienced it literally firsthand, man. Uh, all right, so let's do this. And uh, save the small child who apparently did not need any of this explained to him. All right, very nice. And so, we'll go to the next push mill, and you know, I should send feedback one of these days. Maybe one of you guys will see it when you're playing along, and we can use manholes, thank you. So here, ooh, we're actually introduced to something else. So, much like the pullout and the pushback switches, we've got ourselves manholes and inverted manholes. And uh, they seem very surprised that they just teleported here. See how its mark is upside down? Well, that means that you can use common sense and figure out yourself. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, not really that difficult to get a grasp on. And it's interesting, you can actually jump to these things if you're two blocks beneath it, which is interesting. Because manholes, they technically take up a block, which means you can't side, side pull things while you're next to one. But if you're on the manhole while it's closed, you can still push things away and stuff. So, I'll show you guys a couple more things on that. So, now enter the inverted manhole. Thank you. I will do that because it's not very difficult. But I like how the light shines down. Just like, even if there is something above it that's blocking the light, there will still be glimmering nonsense going down. So thank you. And uh, that's two of the missions already done in this place. So let's go to this question mark ask challenge. Hopefully not suck it up. I hate the ones where the pushmo is on the outer ring of this place. It just, uh, I hate them. So we're gonna have to do some stuff with that little green block in the center there. And see right there, you can't really do anything about it. It's kind of sad, but I guess that's just, that's just how the world rolls, you know? And actually, hold on, let's try this. Um, there we go. Now, if you're on a manhole, you can just jump back onto it and still deal with it that way. It's not really that difficult. Now we just have to do the same thing that we did last time, game. All right, so it's this puzzle, literally, again. See, it's the one, two, three. Uh, they, they really use that a little bit too often. But, oh, got myself coffee here. Forgot about that. Mm. Ah, that is some good stuff, man. So let's see, we've got a couple different colors here. They're, they'll have, like, literally every single color, so. No need to worry about that. And, of course, let's see. Pulling out all these ladders for days and days and days. So I'm pretty sure they had this exact same puzzle at some point in the other game. But let's see, hold on. We're gonna have to probably go over one of these. Like, we might have to actually get rid of the red ladder here. Yeah, we're gonna definitely have to do that. Hmm. Well, I messed that up because I just I just don't like covering manholes. It just feels weird. I always feel like I cover the wrong ones. But with this, we can just go and pull out this green block and then go back up. So, I'm sure there was a much less convoluted way to do that, but we solved it nonetheless. <sighs> Alright, next pushmo, please. This is the third one I'm recording today. I don't know if I'm going to do any more after this. I'm kind of tired and my foot is falling asleep. Ouch. And I love, I love how in those pictures there, how how weirdly it's situated where they put the image of where the manhole is because it doesn't feel like it should be where it says it is. So let's go ahead and pull all of these out. And actually, hold on. We might have to do something weird here because I hate it when they put these in such enclosed places. Like, I hate being surrounded by the border of this. All right, let's, let's, mm, Okay, I might have to do something a little bit different here. Let's try this. And we'll, hmm. Push this back in there. 
and then hopefully we'll be able to make it. I think we will be able to make it, as long as we keep this green one out by one. There we go. Okay. So not too hard. Just gotta kind of walk it through it, you know, verbally, orally, if you will. <laughs> and hooray! We solved another incredibly simple Pushmo puzzle. God, is, is feedback really that important for Nintendo that they have to put it at the end of literally every level at this point? Or the fact that you had to go through tutorials in order to actually go through and get the feedback option. It's weird. Um, let's go ahead and do this. This is going to be really easy. Excuse me. So, I hope you guys still having a good time. I'm recording this all at once, but you guys wouldn't really know because I'm doing these in very separate days. So. Alright. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's try something different here. That was a bad idea. Ugh. Actually, that wasn't such a bad idea. Huh. Let's try this, actually. I'm gonna try that. And let's hopefully... Ugh. There we go. Ooh. Sometimes you just get a chain reaction of events at times, and it's just like one of those things where you hope that you did something right. Because I find myself doing that a lot in the later levels of just any game. You just... Uh... So, on to the next challenge. Already running out of things to talk about. Uh, so let's let's continue. My name is Ellison Cruz, and oh yeah, the thing I was going to tell you about, the worst thing I've ever listened to, is, um, well, I was, I was just randomly browsing YouTube, and I saw Arctic Monkeys had a new video, and it was for uh, their song, Snap Out of It, which is a really good song, and you guys should listen to it, because it's awesome. I want to grab it by the shoulders and snap out of it. You know how it goes, hopefully. And, um, I was watching that, and I decided that was probably literally the worst music video of all time. So I was looking at the random other bullshit that has millions and millions and millions of views. Just that stupid, just terrible commercial music. And, um, I saw that apparently Miley Cyrus covered Why'd You Only Call Me when you're high, and so the first half is literally her giving a very vulgar speech about her doing stupid shit, and then she's talking about, yeah, this is a song by Arctic Monkeys, and everyone literally was like, yeah, this automatically makes the price of admission worth it, but then you realize she is going to be singing a song. And then you're like, oh, fuck me. And so she, she was like, that's a really hard question to answer, because she's like, this is called, why'd you only call me when you're high? But it's a really hard question, because I'm always high. And I was like, you're a fucking bitch. <laughs> and so I watched it, and I listened to it, and I literally was on the cusp of just killing myself. I'm not even kidding you. I don't know why I just thought of this, because... <sighs> but it was literally abysmal. And she does nothing to make it better. I don't care what anybody says about her singing, or what they think is good. But it added nothing new to the song, for one. I mean, I'm usually pretty ambivalent about covers in the first place. Like, if it's just literally note for note and just length and just offers nothing new to the song, then it's like, why bother even covering it or releasing it? It's like, hey, it's the exact same song, it's just I'm singing it this time. It's like, why bother? Put, add your own flair to it. Who cares about potential backlash you'd be getting because... Well, you're making something unique out of an already original work, so just, why don't you just go the extra mile and add your own personal flair to it, like, I don't know, that's kind of why I really like the Church's cover of Do I Wanna Know. It's really good, I think. And so, yeah, I'm one of those people, sue me. Because it doesn't even sound like the original song, and that's why I like it, but, I don't know, did I mess up already? I don't think I did. I think I just solved it. There we go. So, yeah, if you plan on covering a song, just, in, in, in layman's terms, just do it justice and not just make a carbon copy of something that is already original, I guess. I don't know. But I hope you guys, you guys know what I mean, right? I don't know. We're on the last challenge already. Oh, man. I, I love getting angry at music sometimes. I'm not even, like, like, like a music elitist, and this is going to be really annoying. Uh, like, I'm pretty open about a lot of music, and I appreciate the work that musicians put into it, but it comes to a point where people make music for the sake of it being a career, and it's like, why would you want to stifle your musical integrity by dumbing it down for masses to take 
in, you know, in, in bite-sized bits, you know? It's like, hey, we gotta have an introduction, we gotta make a verse, we gotta make a catchy chorus, we'll do a verse again with a little bit of, uh, different improvisation or something, we'll do the chorus, then we'll add a solo, repeat the chorus, that's a song, number one lead single, I'm gonna call that good. It's like, does it have to be that way? It needs to be something like, I hate that I'm coming back to this, it needs to be something that has a natural progression but doesn't retread what it's already done. Like, first thing that comes to mind is probably Bright Eyes or pretty much uh, Exit Music for a film does that brilliantly and I love it. But, um... Let's go ahead and uh, end it off here because I just, uh, I'm so mad at music right now. I could probably record another one of these, but I won't because we got ourselves a giant ass ship in murals too. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope I didn't offend anybody with their rigid, uptight views. And, um, talk to you guys in the next part.